my mad scientist laboratory. I'm gonna go make a really quick video and show you guys what I've been up to lately. This is a quadcopter. Do you see it? <laughs> All right. And I want to show you guys exactly what I've been trying to do. This is a Raspberry Pi, which is a credit card sized microcomputer. And I have established a serial communication via USB to what this thing right here, which is a flight controller. It's the brains behind an aircraft whenever it's in the air. It's like a, it's an Arduino board with a, a lot of additional sensors that allow it to fly. So I'm going to demonstrate how we establish a Mavlink protocol in between the Raspberry Pi and the ArduCopter ArduPilot APM 2.5 flight controller. And what Mavlink is, is that it's a communication protocol for uh, UAV systems. A communication protocol is like the rules of a conversation and uh, just like how when humans talk there are certain rules of conversation. Uh, when computers talk there are also certain rules of conversation and uh, what we've done what we've set up here today is actually a demonstration of how to establish a MAV proxy which is a lightweight ground station represented by the Raspberry Pi and it will make a MAV link to the ArduCopter and give it some simple commands and how we do this is we have to first check your um, serial port by typing in ls dev tty star and we check that it is acm0 and then we establish a mav proxy by doing sudo s mav proxy dot py it's it's python a lot of this stuff is done via python code because it was just built that way and you have to make sure that this one matches acm0 and make sure that the baud rate or the rate of the communication is at 115200 which is typical for both Raspberry Pi and APM 2.5 flight controller. Uh, so if we press enter now it is establishing the communication link and what is happening is that we can actually send commands or send serial commands from the Raspberry Pi into the APM flight controller. It takes a bit to boot up but once it does yeah, it will recognize that it is uh, the firmware is version 3.2.1, which is the most recent firmware released by ArduCopter, and it, it is a quadcopter frame. So now we are ready to send commands. Some of the nifty things that we can do is that we can change the mode, uh, mode say in stabilize, stabilize mode. Okay, now now it is in stabilize mode. Of course, the the light is blinking right there. It's not ready to fly yet. Uh, but we can arm throttle so it, it's arm see it's solid meaning that it's ready to fly um, now I'm going to disarm and show you guys something cool by plugging in this thing underneath right here Oops. okay we change the mode to alt underscore hold. Okay, it's in alt hold mode. Brace for impact, arm, throttle. You get the motor to spin, yeah. All of this is done because of the command from the Raspberry Pi into the ArduCopter. And we can disarm just like that. So other significant things that this setup can do is that you can configure, you, you have a very cheap way of configuring your APM 2.5 flight controller assuming that you don't have a setup like this which is a full PC based mission planner software. Normally we would calibrate this board and uh, tell, set all the parameters using the configuration screen right here but configuration and tuning but everything you want to do there you can also do here another cool thing we can do is that we can RM show right we can see all the various parameters that go into making this board fly and whatnot like the maximum throttle and, and the arming check I can even set those values for example uh, RM show throttle max THR max which is like the max the maximum throttle that you is sent to the motors whenever you send this throttle all the way up right and right now it's 830 normally 
the throttle for the APM 2.5 is between 800 and 1000 and I can even set param set param set um, thr underscore max 1000 okay and then param show 1000 there you go so you can actually customize your APM 2.5 configuration tuning and settings via Raspberry Pi by establishing a MAV link via a software called MAV Proxy. It's much more lightweight compared to doing it on the computer, but for the sake of convenience, you can also do it on a Raspberry Pi. Ding! And that's it. We've established communication in between something that would not be typical of communicating to one of these, a Raspberry Pi, will function as like a, a ground station. It's, it's known in flight terms as a GCS or ground control station. And it talks to the APM 2.5 via a protocol called Mavlink. And that's all I wanted to show you today. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Turn the camera around. Peace. Peace.